tell us why you think that this company, its share price is only worth uh, seven Australian dollars twenty, which would be a significant discount to the twenty-two odd uh, Aussie dollars that it trades at. Absolutely. Thanks for having me today, guys. Um, Seek is now a, a story of Xiaoping, and we think the Xiaoping platform is grossly mispriced. Uh, Seek's Australian business and non-core China assets, the growth is stagnating, but it rests on Seek's claim that, China, that Xiaoping is the number one platform in China and that it's growing rapidly. We think our due diligence shows that that's not the case. First, the data shows that actually it's far from being the number one platform in China, that its popularity is plummeting, that it lost its number one place in the market to the clear leader, which is Boss. But second, our due diligence of the actual platform in the post show a number of zombie, so allegations of zombie resumes that Seek pays people to post fake resumes on the platform, and also a number of posts from fake employers. Yeah, I think you're sorry, you refer to zombie resumes and phony jobs, don't you, in your report. Uh, did you actually go and mm -hmm. get granular and have a look at uh, those particular posts, et cetera? Well, yeah, we did. So, for example, if we looked at HiPen, which is their high-end jobs platform, which Seek says is going to be a key driver of growth in China going forward, 70 percent of the, the posts on that platform were either expired or, we think, pretty obvious fake. So we noticed that posts were being recycled, posts were outdated. And then when we contacted a few of the companies that claimed to be posting for frequent positions, they were either deregistered in China or in one particular case, which was, which was a prominently featured company. They told us they'd never heard of the platform and the, and the posts attributed to them were fake. Uh, we're getting headlines here, Soren, that Seek has uh, paused uh, trading pending an announcement. Any idea what announcement could follow? No, I think they'll respond to the report, and I'm sure I'm off the Christmas card list. Uh, you're taking issue with Seek's uh, amount of debt. You say it is at dangerous levels. I mean, currently, a lot of companies have tremendous debt, given where rates are right now. What exactly about Seek's debt that you're taking issue with? Well, Seek reports about 3.8 net debt to EBITDA, but we think that kind of grossly understates how much debt the company actually has. If we do make a true apples to apples comparison, and we factor in capitalized software expenses, which we actually think for valuation purposes need to be run through the income statement, we think the true net debt to EBITDA is about 4.8 times, which is pretty high. And I think that shareholders have this misperception that Seek is going to grow and to be able to service this level of debt through the growth and through the continuing popularity of the Xiaoping platform. Yet our due diligence shows that it's just not the case, that that platform that everyone expects to be the growth engine for an otherwise stagnant company is actually struggling. And we see that in the numbers already, and we see that with the zombie resumes and the number of fake posts that we see. It has been paying a dividend. Right. Sorry, I mean, Surely you... its uh, cash flow is, is pretty good. Well, you'd think that by just looking at the surface. But actually, when you unpack the numbers, it turns out that a lot of the dividend is financed by the debt that they're raising. What's interesting about Seek, and one of the reasons we first noticed this company and decided to do due diligence on it, was that not only was it a roll-up that was pretty heavily indebted, but it had really low-quality earnings. And that's just kind of a finance. What we, what we say when we low-quality earnings, we say that a substantial part of their profits and their earnings from year to year are not driven by the underlying business. They're actually driven by one-time non-cash gains, um, which are by definition not repeatable. So when investors say, well, this company pays a dividend, actually, when you unpack it, the dividend is financed by debt, and a lot of the earnings are driven by these one-off gains that seem to come up and, and magically appear for them at year-end again and again. Soren, I mean, you're taking major issue, really, with the Chinese arm of, of Seek, but you're not exactly enamored by uh, the uh, home company, as it were, either, though it does, of course, uh, stand up much better, according to your report. Tell us about your problems there. Sorry, with respect to the uh, Australian platform? Correct. Yeah, so no one's paying 400 times forward earnings for an Australian platform that hasn't grown in three or four years. That is not the story of why the stock is trading where it is. It's trading at this 
rapid growth multiple because people believe in the company's claims that this Chinese platform is the number one player in China, which we know is not the case, and also that this Chinese platform is going to be this engine of driving growth. And that's not only the main Xiaoping platform, but it's also what was the focus of our report, like the high-end jobs platform. However, when you unpack that, when you actually press on some of these postings, when you read what people in China are saying, employers are saying that the platform is not useful because there's so many fake resumes, and job seekers are complaining about the number of fake posts. That's not a platform that is going to be valuable at 400 times forward earnings. That's something that's a much, much smaller multiple that you're willing to pay for on the market.